with options like the new IBM printers and the IBM PC network. IBM personal computers. See them at a store near you or call your IBM representative. So IBM was a huge mainframe company, especially prominent throughout the 60s and into the 70s and even in the 80s. But, of course, you had companies like Apple and TRS, uh, Tandy Radio Shack, making their computers that were getting really popular in not only homes, but the small business sector. And, of course, IBM was like, holy crap, we need to do this. The IBM PC came out in 1981, model 5150. So this was not only IBM's first personal computer, it was also the first computer to be called a PC, as we know the term today. People equated personal computer for the next two decades with IBM compatible computers. Opened up gaming to a lot more people later on. The PC initially was mostly used for business applications and was actually incredibly poor for handling games. So while the IBM PC was meant as a business computer, it really didn't have a lot of business software to begin with. It didn't have much of anything. Mavis Beacon, she broke down those racial barriers in the 80s through her great typing software. The IBM uh, PCs had this beautiful keyboard that was spring-loaded. Oh, oh, it's a beautiful mechanism where you uh, hit it. For a while, Apple still had the leg up on business computing. That is until Lotus 123 came along for the PC. Mm. You felt like you were getting work done. As easy as one, two, three, and opening it up and uh, looking inside. It's pretty easy. So you get into the early 80s, and all of a sudden you got these cheap little, like, you know, pirates of games coming up. You know, you copy them on a five and a quarter, give them to, give them to your neighbor, your coworker. You would trade them and open up gaming to a lot more people. My first video game was Microsoft Flight Simulator for this old IBM compatible uh, Epson. That's how I discovered gaming was on my 8086 XT, you know? Yeah, the printer company. They made computers back then. What? CGA, you only need four colors. You only need an ugly red, ugly, ugly yellow, ugly blue. <laughs> all you blue, need is magenta, ugly cyan. Green. That's all you need. I don't know why I don't have one of those. Uh, keyboards. That, that's just that's just good fun right there. That would give me minutes of entertainment to have. All of a sudden, the PC shows up and changes the way computing works from here on out. And yeah, that's continued on to today. And in fact, there's a lot of compatibility in between the old systems and the new ones. Yeah, and it's the most dominant uh, platform today. A modern PC is still going to be able to run a lot of the same software if you tweak it enough. It starts changing when you get into the 64-bit stuff, but we're not talking about that.